This is Twit. Hey, the Mechazilla eats with chopsticks. That's right. A show. So I, I actually you. I slept through the the launch and landing. I'm ashamed. Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> I knew you'd be covering it, but I got up shortly thereafter, watched it, and I have to confess, I shed a couple of tears because. Oh yeah. As impressive as it is to see something the size of a U.S. Navy destroyer launching into space, coming home for the first stage blew my mind. Yeah. And yeah. I don't have much of a mind left, so it takes a lot to blow what's there. But that coming down, and the thing I guess that gets me is all the SpaceX boosters come hurtling back, and you're just gritting your teeth until at the last second it ignites the the uh, engines. And then down it comes, and to make it the first time without destroying the launch yeah. pad, uh, wow, just wow. Yeah, I, I, uh, uh, we're talking, of course, everybody about SpaceX's amazing Starship Flight Five test flight. They launched the Starship uh, vehicle uh, halfway around the world to the Indian Ocean, uh, uh, executed a soft landing over the water there. But much more impressive, the super heavy. Uh, booster came back to the landing site, to the launch site, uh, and uh, and hovered right there next to this giant tower that they call Mechzilla. It has those metal arms, those chopsticks that they call it, and it, it just kind of just kind of gave it a nice little hug. I think Elon Musk even said that even rockets need hugs too uh, to capture it in midair. And if uh, I, I fully expected SpaceX to destroy the launch pad. You know, and I, 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 I always have to well, wonder. I think they did too. That's why oh, yeah. they're building the second one, right? And and and, uh, and so they, yeah, they, they 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 have a second one almost fully built next next door, so that you know they would be able to to hopefully recover if that was the case. But I mean, you can see if you're watching our, our live stream, the video, uh, the, um, the 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 these amazing clips of of the landing as this this huge rocket, you know, fully stacked. It's 400 feet tall, so half of that coming back. Uh, hovering, uh, what just like you know, dozens of feet away from this giant structure, uh, and as it hovers there, these two arms, you know, uh, uh, grab. And there's actually, it's. I used to think that it hangs from the little grid fins themselves there, oh. but no, there's these like these these two little nubs that stick off the side. You can see it rest on the arms, and that's all it's hanging from, which is absolutely insane and so it, it happened at like oh i want to say like eight or nine in the morning eastern time and i'm like everyone else here is sleeping on sunday and i'm just screaming at this computer screen <laughs> you know just just in in disbelief uh at, at how how awesome that was to see and so i mean this is it's the largest rocket ever built it's the tallest rocket ever built it's the most powerful rocket ever built this stage has 33 raptor engines on it they use three of them on the way back uh, mm -hmm. for both an entry burn as well as this landing burn and um, and they they nailed it there is some damage on this booster uh follow-up photos have showed damage on the side we don't know if it was from the catch if it was from something else uh, i guess we're going to find out later on um but man uh you know it could have gone <laughs> way wrong and i think it went about as right as you could have hoped for for this at sunrise with spectacular views during the launch and, and we landing. weren't there to see it live darn it oh my gosh oh but i don't know if i would have liked to have been on the beach uh because i i watched from Ca uh, uh cameron county um uh park there's like a a jetty there and it's it's very very nice views on on uh, uh south padre island but i think i would have I would have really missed out like the being up close and personal. I would have liked to have heard those sonic booms of this huge rocket coming mm -hmm. back though. That would have been a pretty visceral experience. It seems like from the videos I've seen. Yeah. I, I hope to see it someday. I never saw a Saturn five. I saw a number of shuttle launches, but was a little too young to get out the Saturn five on my own. Well, actually a lot too young, well, but well, this I do want to see, and we're going to, we're going to rent a townhouse out there. We're going to do an Airbnb and, and have a launch party. Yeah, we should we should coordinate because, you know, w w I think one of the, you know, while this was spectacular, this launch, and we've got views from the Starship vehicle itself, too, which also did a soft landing. Mm -hmm. it, it, it withstood reentry. We had a, a bit of burn through on the flaps. We saw that last time, right. but it, it this time it was much, much less. It, it hovered. You saw the water underneath it from the camera's live views all the way through, uh, and then it, it tipped over. And I got a lot of comments from people saying, oh, look, the Starship exploded after it hit the water. 
water. They can't even build a starship that can hit the water. And it's like they were throwing the thing away. You know, if they had yeah. a landing platform, it would have been fine uh, at, at, at the end, which was a lesson, right? You go back, and we're getting a bit into this. Maybe this is the only story we talk about uh, uh, for this. But if you go back to 2015, when in uh, 2014, when SpaceX is desperately trying to land rocket after rocket right. after rocket, uh, well, Falcon 9 uh, on the ocean, and it it misses the platform, it crashes into the platform, it hits, slides off, you know, or or whatever, all the way through. Yeah, they learned uh, a lot, obviously. And and then in December of 2015, they said, you know what, we'll just come back to the landing site where they don't have a moving target, and then they nailed it, and now they've they've had what 300. Rockets, something like that. Something like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so maybe I think we one should loss, right? Yeah. Well, a couple, a, a couple, but um, yeah. uh, they, and they just recently like lost, I think, a booster because of I think the rough seas knocked it, messed it up. Yeah. But, um, but I guess after you know, with, with that that double digit success, we maybe shouldn't be surprised that this happened on the way down. You know, Elon, while Elon uh, Musk announced that they were going to try to catch it just after flight four. So like, I think in May, he said, oh yeah, the next one, we're going to do it. And it felt like one of those Elon statements. With yes, that, yes. That yes. like everyone on, yeah, we'll be on Mars is like, in two weeks. I know. It's like yeah. hearing about it for the first time on, on the Twitters. Uh, and I thought that it wasn't, wasn't going to happen. And, and here they went and did it. So, um, you know, you and I joke about, oh yeah, we should go and uh, record an episode there. But I encourage everyone, you want to see something special. You can just drive out to this launch site. You know, you, you fly into McAllen, Texas, uh, you, uh, you rent a car, you drive out to the beach. It's right there. It's literally like 200 feet away from you, you know, less than a football field. Right, where you could be involved in the explosion if it doesn't Well, I mean, well. not while it's launching. I think the sound alone will kill you, you know. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. But, but, but you can drive out the night before and see it all stacked. You can go, you know, have a nice, there's a, there's a hopper. Uh, a bar that I, that was really nice over in Port Isabel. I recommend they make a mean jalapeno burger. Okay, you're uh, getting carried away here. Hey, if you enjoyed this clip, be sure to check out This Week in Space. You can find us on your favorite podcast app or see the link in the description below. See you there. <laughs>